Ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting. You have Liz Cheney, who voted alongside President Trump over 90% of the time, according to 538's vote tracker, tracking votes, tracking Congress in the age of Trump. The link is below in the description. Okay, she voted alongside Trump 90% of the time. She did not oppose President Trump in the in, in the in the public relations spin that she's trying to communicate or this public relations onslaught that she's trying to engage in. She didn't oppose the president, neither did Adam Kinzinger. He voted alongside President Trump over 90% of the time as well. Go to the 538. They're not right about everything, but they're in, it's an interesting site, okay? Um, there are some interesting, even though it's a you know pretty partisan liberal st- statistics site, publication, polling, aggregate, whatever. There are some interesting things that if you there are th- some interesting, um, you know, like areas within that website that if you look at, you can see. Oh, okay. Uh, so the the propaganda from establishment Republicans or Republicans in name only or never Trumpers. It's just pure public relations. You can look. She voted alongside President Trump over 90% of the time. The people who claim to be never Trumpers are simply basking in the glory of media attention and being the good Republicans that Democrats, you know, refer them to view them to be. They don't realize that if they were an actual obstacle, a political like obstacle to Democrats, they would be the next despots and authoritarians and they would uh, receive all the intelligence operative reports that claim they engaged in things they never did. I'm all over the place, but here, let me just read you this. Cheney, her big thing is, well, he didn't, Trump didn't bow out gracefully. Well, she's not leaving. She ain't leaving. She's refusing to leave, and she has this speech now. Liz Cheney vows to fight Trump's crusade in speech on eve of expected removal from GOP leadership by Haley Victory Smith, May 11th. Representative Liz Cheney delivered a defiant Tuesday speech on the House floor one day ahead of her likely removal from GOP leadership. The third-ranking Republican in the House emphasized that she views the former president Donald Trump's claims okay, as, a, as a big affront to democracy. Again, he, he's, this is hilarious. You never got, this is the problem. And hit subscribe to this channel right now and go to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I'll, I'll give you a condensed version of this segment. Um, but go to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I'm building that one and you'll have a segment right after this one on that channel. Cheney never had any issues with intelligence operatives claiming that Trump worked with Russia. They had no evidence at all. James Clapper, when he was asked by Chuck Todd, when Chuck Todd said, "Uh, do you have any evidence, direct evidence? Uh," And Clapper said, oh, we don't have any direct evidence of uh, Trump working with Russia, but we're looking. And then Chuck Todd asked him again, well, you know, if you did have direct evidence, would you tell anybody? Like the genius he is. And then Shane, and then Clapper said, "Oh, uh, we don't, we don't. Uh, well, we, if we have that evidence, we would let people know." That's called a baseless claim. I didn't see Cheney defending Trump. I didn't see Liz Cheney defending Trump when um, they were going after him for four years. I'm not even certain if Cheney defended Trump during the um, Zelensky. The whole, the, the whole um, accusing, accusing the president of investigating his direct political rival while his direct political rivals were investigating Trump, um, pressuring Zelensky. Okay, no, that never happened. There wasn't any direct evidence he pressured anybody. And furthermore, President Zelensky of Ukraine stated categorically Trump did not pressure him. And Poroshenko, his predecessor, President Poroshenko stated he was not pressured by Trump. How many tinfoil hat theories do Democrats spew uh, through the Washington Post, the New York Times? Sources say people people with knowledge have confirmed. The Atlantic published an article that said that Trump uh, 
disparaged fallen Americans without a shred of evidence simply because, quote-unquote, it's called journalism. And you have all of these lies being told, and you then have this charade and this theatrical performance. My God! I mean, if you don't trust the results, what, what do we have in this country if not for our love and respect for democracy? Um, I agree with Cheney and Democrats on one, one thing. It would be nice to go back to a time when both Republicans and Democrats at least trusted each other when it came to elections. Guess who started this distrust and tar- the tarnishing and the ripping apart of our democracy and constitution? It wasn't Trump. Intelligence operatives have zero right to investigate incoming candidates based on confidence levels. An outgoing administration has no right to investigate an incoming administration based on the outgoing administration's corrupt intelligence chiefs and their confidence assessments. This has never happened before in American history. I repeat, this has... You name me a time, Democrats. Name me a time when it's happened. We have had a peaceful transition of power from Washington until Trump, and it's because of President Obama's administration. President Obama was the first president, and this is a fact, to investigate his direct political rival, the incoming, he was the outgoing administration, Trump was the incoming administration, and President Obama's intelligence chiefs investigated Trump based on a hunch, information purchased by Clinton and the DNC. And whereas President Obama should have engaged in a peaceful transition of power, he didn't. Now, you could have, Bush could have done the same thing to President Obama. He came in with a Russian reset. Bush was the, well, the Republicans at that point, or McCain was a hawk. So McCain could have said, hey, I'm I'm, I'm hawkish on, on Putin. And you know, there's a Guardian article saying that Putin is looking forward to the new democratic regime. Why is that? And by the way, computers were also infiltrated in that election as well. There's, there, there were, are there articles talking about different countries involved. And it happens all the time. But it's Democrats who spent th- four years calling Trump illegitimate. Stacey Abrams didn't even concede with Kemp, calling him illegitimate. When Democrats lose, they... They yell at the top of their lungs that it was an outrage, it's unfair, but then they do the same thing that they complain about to Bernie Sanders. So they railroad Bernie Sanders in 2016 and then blame Russia for informing us. And in, in uh, congressional testimony, in congressional testimony, I'll say it again, in congressional testimony, CrowdStrike, the third-party tech firm, did not have any direct evidence. No American was ever indicted on collusion. And the 18 Russian intelligence officials were indicted only on Company One's information. It would be nice to go back to a time when we had a media that was somewhat impartial. Do you remember, if if you're in your 30s, you probably don't, but if you're over 40, you probably do. Do you remember Ted Koppel, Peter Jennings, David Brinkley, Dan Rather. Do you remember... um, Well, Dan Rather is now a hardcore part of the establishment. He actually lost his job for a story that wasn't accurate with Bush. But see, again, people don't even lose their jobs now. They hardly ever do. Now, inaccurate stories are just par for the course. It happens all the time against Trump, and then there's a minor retraction. But Ted Koppel, David Brinkley, Peter Jennings, um, there were some others. Tom Brokaw. Let's see. Tom Brokaw, no, he's, he's still around. Ted Koppel, Peter Jennings, David Brinkley... Sam Donaldson. That's who I was thinking of. 
Sam Donaldson was the man. Okay. So Sam Donaldson was fantastic. You had these. These were impartial. ABC, CNN was pretty impartial back in the day. And then CNN actually slithered towards the Bush administration and then uh, was now way on the left, obviously. But you look at ABC News, NBC, CBS. You had from Walter Cronkite to Dan- Sam Donaldson, Peter Jennings, David Brinkley. You had these people that they didn't care who won. They didn't care who won. Now you have Chuck Todd and everyone at CNN and MSNBC, and they're the same people. What's the difference between Chuck Todd and Trevor Noah and um, Jimmy Kimmel and John Oliver? And anyone at the Washington Post or New York Times, there's no difference. They're advocates. They're advocates of the Democratic Party. And what's interesting and what's frightening, truly frightening, is that millions of Democrats are led to believe that media is subjective. And this subjective media has deemed Trump to be this tyrant and authoritarian. So they really believe it. And they really convince themselves that because this overtly biased media is just regurgitating the same vantage point that they have, that their vantage point is actually justified. That's a problem. (laughs) We don't have an objective media anymore. And Liz Cheney is, Trump is not even in office, and he's already done away with the Bush, Rums, uh, R- uh, Romney, and Cheney dynasties. They're done. President Trump was a human wrecking ball, and he did a lot more good than bad. A lot more good. He did more good things and had more accomplishments from the, the beginning of, of detente between North and South Korea, being the first president to step foot in North Korea, paradigm-changing moment, to negotiating a deal to get us out of Afghanistan, which is the most important thing that's happened in the past 20 years since getting into that region of the world forever because of Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld and President Obama in Libya. But he was able to do away with these dynasties and Cheney isn't leaving. She's, she's trying to fight it and she's doing exactly what she claims Trump did last year. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel right this second. Thank you.